Welcome to the first episode of ASQ TV. I'm Randall Mauricio. ASQ TV brings to life stories on quality, innovation, strategies, ideas, and tools to achieve continuous improvement and performance excellence in your organization, community, and world. Today, we focus on the customer experience. We talk with Siemens Industry, share best practices from Singha Beer Manufacturing, and solve this riddle. When is a cappuccino not a cappuccino? An ASQ 2012 survey shows quality and customer service are essential to the customer experience, but they can be at odds. Respondents say often quality is not viewed as a top priority, ranking below product development and sales and marketing. On top of that, a substantial number of companies don't have a department or even a team dedicated to customer service. At the Global Electronics and Electrical Engineering Company, Siemens Industry, Director of Quality Marketing Jennifer Schmidt says they make sure quality and the customer experience resonate throughout the company. Our organization is unique because it brings both marketing and quality together within one department. And we're really focused on that customer value cycle through understanding um, from a marketing aspect um, the landscape of um, and the perception uh, that we have within the marketplace and understanding what our customer needs are um, to creating a good service um, and offerings and products around that voice of the customer. Here are some tips from quality experts for improving the customer experience. Change your approach to customers from a transactional to a partnership focus. Consider the development of a rapid response team to identify and resolve customer service issues. Create a response system for customer complaints. Educate product teams on what the customer's expectations are and what the team's priority is. Make sure to share customer feedback analysis with upper management. And develop an in-the-moment system for addressing customer issues. For the full survey results, click on the link in the description below. Now let's find out what's working. The manufacturer of Singha Beer used a quality tool to get better insight into the preferences of its international customers. Boonrod Brewery tailored the Quality Function Deployment Tool, or QFD, to create a five-step process to develop a solution. The QFD process starts with Gemba, a Japanese term that means the place where the truth can be learned. In this case, the project team identified the Gemba as a place where the beer was sold, so they interviewed consumers there. After the interviews took place, the team translated the voice of the customer into relevant data for the project. The team used an affinity diagram to organize images of how the customer wanted to be seen. Next, the team created the hierarchy diagram for analyzing customer image structure. After review, the team developed an analytic hierarchy process, taking the highest value customer images and using the images to develop marketing collateral. Through this process, the brewer developed a solid understanding of the inner wishes and emotional perspectives of its customer, which is the customer experience. You can read the entire case study by following the link in the description below. Now let's look at a tool you can use to improve your customer's experience. The voice of the customer table gives an added edge to users of QFD. You can use it to reveal items that customers may not yet be aware of to achieve early discovery of their true needs. Here's how you create the table. First, gather data through interviews, questionnaires, or observations of the customer's process in action. You need to learn about how customers are using or could be using your product or service. Next, reword the voice of the customer into customer demands. Demands take on many forms, such as demands for quality, performance, low price, long life, safety, and low environmental impact. The QFD design team must interpret these various demands from the voice of the customer, the usage, and the operating environment. Extrapolate and sort the demands from the VOC table to help you better prioritize. Use this tool as part of the QFD for a robust analysis of your customer's needs. See the voice of the customer table by following the link in the description below. Finally, let's talk about something on the lighter side. A woman walks into a bar. Actually, it's a restaurant, and orders a cappuccino. She's informed they don't serve cappuccino. And how is she affected as a customer? Let's talk to author Diane McDonald, who experienced just that and wrote about it for QP Magazine. We assume we know what the customer needs and sell it 
to the customer versus bringing the customer in and really understanding those needs. And with that, I became really aware that our traditional uh, methods to understand customers are so deficient. Interviews, focus groups, surveys, no matter how well conducted, really just clarify the needs and what we really need is discovery. Uh, I love Henry Ford's quote that if I had asked my customers what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. So it's not just discovery from uh, the service provider's point of view, but it's also helping the customer discover their true needs. For Diane's full story, visit the link in the description below. Well, thank you for joining us today for the first episode of ASQ TV. Click subscribe on this page for ASQ TV's email notification to learn when the next episode is available. And make sure you join us again next month.